What's up guys, Guns for Newbies back here, and today I want to talk about a brand new gun that I just got. This is the Shadow Systems XR920P. So, um, really no rhyme or reason for why I bought this gun. I kind of went on a kick of getting rid of my uh, MMPs after I had, you know, just some, um, I would call it poor um, performance from the uh, metal carry comp. And uh, so I just wanted to change it up, and these are actually a gun that I've been looking at for a long time. The reliability in the first couple of models wasn't just quite there for me, so I never actually went uh, further and um, decided to <clears throat> pursue them any further. Um, but for, in looking further into this guy, I felt really confident with it. I've learned a little bit more about shadow systems. Uh, the break-in period kind of was scaring me, to be quite honest, and that's kind of what I was worried, like, longevity-wise, how would this gun hold up? Um, and so I'll just tell you, I bought this gun probably... Um, you know, I just uploaded my other video last week. That was right when I got it. I've already put 750 rounds through it. Um, I have not had one single malfunction. So I ran, um, probably, uh, the break-in period, I ran 200 rounds of 124 grain. Since then, I've only ran 115 and it has been flawless. I haven't cleaned it at all since. <clears throat> I added a little bit more weight to the gun. And so that had me a little worried. So I did about, um, 200 rounds after with 115, then I added the light and the optic. And the reason for that is I wanted to make sure it would still be reliable. So when you start adding more weight, you're going to have a little bit less, um, uh, recoil and especially with the light. And that sometimes with that, and this can mess with, uh, the spring weight and how the gun's going to perform, uh, based on your, your ammo load. If you're shooting something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, more weight to it. So like 124 grain, 147, you're not typically going to get that. I've only, um, primarily been a 115 grain shooter. Um, I bought a couple cases of uh, 124 on accident, not even paying attention to it. Shot through all that. Um, noticed it was a little bit different. You get a little bit more hump in your bullet because you're pushing out a little bit heavier of a projectile, which it is what it is. I actually learned to really like it by the time I was done, but I do enjoy shooting 115 grain because it, it's just less mass to push through. Uh, bullet travels a little bit faster, so you get a tiny bit more snap, but uh, once you learn how to control that, it's quicker for me to have follow-up shots, quicker for me to to just empty a mag, <clears throat> so on and so forth. It's just pretty fantastic. So um, all in all, again, the XR920P, uh, my initial thoughts of it were it's a pretty crazy gun, like pretty, pretty crazy gun. So you get a very, very light pistol. It's about 22 ounces, which is why I went with a heavier light. Um, so this light's about four ounces typically on the smaller guns. Um, I, I run like a TLR 7X or whatever, and that's about a two ounce light. This one with it being so light, I ran a four ounce light just because it's not really that heavy. So it's not really that big of a deal. Um, and even so, incredibly light, very easy to carry. Uh, we are safety checked just to show you guys. So nothing in the chamber. Um, Again, hopefully it's good enough for everybody. So what you get out of this guy is it's a polymer frame stri striker fired pistol. Um, it's about four and a half inch barrel. It comes with a very, very nice compensator that's a threadless design. So it's legal in most states, which is really, really big. Um, uh, for where I live. So I really like that. It also comes, I was looking into this. I want to say um, this design was manufactured after the PMM cop, which Parker Mount Machine, they do a lot of high quality stuff. I really like their stuff. I do not like how they, they run shims and like the sorts of like locking thread washers that I'm not a big fan of personally. I don't, I, I wouldn't run one of those, but I do know that their compensators work. Um, they're oftentimes very comparable to uh, Ra Radian Ramjet, and a lot of people actually prefer them over the Radian. So I was very um, excited for that because I wanted to see how it shot, but I was very nervous because the more compensation you have, the less reliability you're just going to get out of your pistol. Now, this gun, again, has been flawless. I haven't cleaned it whatsoever. It doesn't seem to get a whole lot of carbon buildup. I'm trying to see if I can. Let me get the light closer here. There's just a little bit there. You can see on the inside. There's a little bit on the inside as well. Not a whole lot. Uh, it doesn't really get too dirty. On the front there's not bad at all either. You get a little bit down here. I mean, it's it's really not. I mean, for 750 rounds without a single clean through, uh, without any sort of cleaning, um, it's actually really, really nice. Now, um, the other thing you're going to get out of this pistol, which I really like, 
um, is Shadow Systems physically offers a uh, warranty. I don't know if it's only on their EDC guns or if it's on all of them. I think it's on all of them, but I'd have to double check that. Um, and if you're watching this video, feel free to look into that and uh, comment below. But um, it comes with a warranty. So essentially, if you have to use your, your gun to defend yourself, then you can send them a copy of the police report and they'll replace your gun, which is just, I think is fantastic, especially for EDC guns. I don't know if that comes on the bigger ones again, but it's pretty cool that the company offers that on anything whatsoever. So um, even if it's only on their EDC guns, I think that that's a huge, huge benefit. Um, and uh, I mean, this, quite frankly, this has been my favorite gun out of the box I've ever owned, just flat out. I love the color scheme. I love that I was able to choose a dark barrel. They also have <clears throat> a bronze barrel, um, should you choose to want that color combination. And I have actually the, uh, I have another one that is that combination that will be coming for a future video. So stay tuned on that guy. Um, all in all, um, you get a lot of interchangeability. So what I mean by that is you get three different back straps because you're going to get a case like this, okay? I'm just open this up. I don't have the actual back straps here. Um, this is just to show you what the cases looks like. I've I cleaned all this out, but you're going to get a uh, pin punch. You're going to get a bag, and it's going to have uh, three different sets of screws. So that way you can mount an optic. It's going to have three different spacers because you can see there's a tiny spacer there. You're going to have three different spacers, and they're grooved in so they don't shift around, which is really nice. Um, for different style optics, um, this comes, I believe, the Delta Point Pro footprint. Um, but it's a little bit longer. It's got this really, really cool spacer design, which I actually prefer because you can actually mount the, um, optic directly on the slide and you don't have to worry about a plate. I, I just, I hate plates. Plates are just, they make your optics get higher. And I've noticed at, lo at longer distances, you're going to get a little bit more, uh, variation on where your, uh, dot would be zeroed at because you typically want to zero your optics at about 30, uh, uh, yeah, 30 feet. So, you know, that's kind of the best uh, spot to do it from what I've seen anyways. And so what happens is when your target's a lot higher, then the way that this works is it's shooting uh, uh, from the emitter. It emits the, the red dot. And when it sits up higher, you'll zero it at 30 feet. But since it's offset more, it will have more uh, deviation at longer distances. So, that is very important for me. I love the fact that it's a direct mill. It's not even the lowest. It is still pretty low cut, but it is not the lowest cut, but it still is uh, pretty amazing. I, I mounted the Romeo X Pro on here. These screws are from the EOTech E-Flex. And so I put these guys on here. So the specs for these are there 6-40 thread pitch, and then the length is 0.460. So um, you can actually find those on Brownells. And... Um, they have it as 6 40 by 15 divided by 32. So that is actually what they are. Um, and that's what I mounted this to. Now, looking at the thread pitch, there are other screws that were a little bit longer. So I know it's going to be safe to run these. And they give it a nice flush fit. Um, and they work really well. So it's really, really nice how they worked out. I haven't zeroed the optic yet, but I will tell you. Um, this has been, again, my favorite gun out of the box that I've ever owned. And why is because you get some pretty, pretty awesome things. So it's compensated right out of the factory. You get RMR, um, or I'm sorry, RMR. You get a Delta Point Pro footprint. I believe that's what it's called um, with a spacer. So you can pretty much run <clears throat> almost nearly any optic you want, provided you have the screws and know which spacer to use, or even if it needs a spacer, depending on how big it is. Um, but you get some really, really nice uh, set of uh I don't think that these are actually suppressor height sites, but since the, the, the deck height on my optic is so low and the, has the direct mount, I can co-witness like a third lower co-witness. So that's really nice. Um, you get fantastic texturing. I will say out of the box, this has been some of the best texturing I've ever had. Um, you get a really nice flat face trigger. Um, it's got a slight curve in it, but it's pretty flat. It breaks. It's really nice. So I'll just show you right about there. The reset is pretty short. Looks a little longer there on camera, but I'm shooting it. It feels pretty short. It's probably about right under four pounds. So I really like that. Um, it might be a little bit heavier, but this one's this one came in a little bit lighter. And I actually have another shadow systems that'll be coming to the channel. That's got the same trigger in it, and for some reason this one feels lighter. Just luck of the draw. I mean, no two no two pistols will have an identical trigger pull. Um, so that's pretty nice. Um, also, you're going to get a Picatinny rail so you can mount whatever light you want to it. This is going to have a lot of options because you are going to fit, uh, I believe this is Glock 17 style. So they fit uh, 
holsters that are compatible for Glock 17, so you're going to have plenty of holster options. Um, I mean, it actually takes Glock parts, so you can do whatever you want to. You can actually put different slide stop. This is the only thing that I don't like is how recessed they made this, which is nice because it's not going to be rubbing or hitting accidentally, but um, it is incredibly hard to use it when you have to drop the slide, I've noticed. So you kind of start using like the pinch method to drop it um, just because that, that doesn't have a whole lot of uh, space on it. But all in all, uh, the texturing, it has like a bigger, uh, really nice uh, extended mag release, trigger, sights. I mean, this gun just comes ready out of the box. Um, I don't think that I've ever owned a pistol where I've just got it out of the box and immediately loved, loved shooting it right out of the box. The sights were a little bit weird because they're so high. I'm not, that's that, that was another thing. But um, once I got used to it, um, I kind of had to, when I was aiming, I was kind of used to like, you know, lining up the top like that and I noticed I was having to lower it just a little bit when I was shooting because my shots were going a little bit high uh about 35 40 feet so that was the only weird thing that I noticed um and that's just how they they cut the sights you know it's so aggressive you got to kind of see where it's at and they're so tall so not a big thing there uh just getting used to it um, but all in all, reliability has been perfect. I really like it. The weight of the gun is really, really manageable. This is a perfect, uh, you know, carry gun. If you're, uh, looking to carry something a little bit bigger, you want something that's going to be compensated a little bit more, you get a little more trigger, trigger time behind this. Another cool thing that they have, um, is that you can actually modify your grip. So what happens is you can take this pin out and then this uh, back plate slides off from here down, and then you have three different. They give you uh, three different ones from from the uh, out of the box. And you're gonna have this one's the smallest one. They're gonna have a medium one, which comes on the gun, and then they're gonna have a large. Um, I switched to the to the smaller one because for me that lets me get a little bit more uh, of the back of, or I guess the um, center of my hand over it. Because as you get the bigger grips, you kind of got to shift over. It kind of gives you that almost like that Glock um, grip grip angle, which isn't a problem for me. I love shooting Glocks, but for this gun, I wanted to uh, change it to more of like a, it almost feels like a SIG, more of a SIG grip angle. And since I'm more used to shooting SIGs, uh, that has been a complete uh, blessing. So uh, I really, really like everything about the gun. For some reason, I mean, dimensionally, it's pretty equivalent, but the way that they did this, it feels like when you're shooting it, you have very, very little mass coming back and it's a quick, quick gun. I mean, for how light it is, it shoots way better than what you would think. And because of that, it's literally my favorite gun. I don't know. This was something that I just bought on, on a whim. And I've liked this more than any MMP I've ever bought. Um, I do like my SIGs. I won't say I like it more, but it's definitely on par with that. My Glocks, I love them, but I have to dump a ton of money into them to get them to like what this is. And that's kind of what led me to want this is I wanted something with warranty, out of the box, I was ready to go, fun to shoot, just all in all, a great pistol. And, you know, this gun, um, I forget what the MSRP is. I got a, a pretty good discount on it. So, I mean, you know, with the light, I mean, not counting the optic, I mean, I'm still under a thousand bucks. And that's pretty hard to beat for a gun that's compensated, got a great trigger, got great uh, texture, um, already optic cut, ready to go out of the factory. I mean, it comes with a magwell. I brought it here just so you can see. Um, now, if you're taking this off, that was a, another weird thing. You actually have to, because this will this has a pin in here. So that pin goes, uh, it goes like this goes inside, and then you'll put the the. Um, it's it's very strange how you mount it, but you'll have to take out the the pin in here and the pin up here, so that way um, you can fully take it out. It's a little bit weird on how it's done. And again, I don't have it on there, but that was something where I took one of the pins out trying to take um, the back strap off. And then this guy in here, because this comes out of here, it has like a little ledge. You'll take that guy out. And I think I actually have the pin in there, so it won't come out. And that was stuck in here. So I was trying to pull on it forever. And then I had to take this pin off. So you got to take the back strap off to get this uh this guy to come out of here and sit inside the magwell the magwell is okay but it doesn't really do anything like that's pretty much what it looks like it doesn't really have too much of a lip or a ramp it just kind of sits up top there so i wanted it off just because it's easier to conceal and i really didn't see that there was much of a benefit into having this so it just is kind of what it is not a big deal um just a plastic um magwell with their logo on it cool for visual but that's about it so all in all um fantastic gun let's go to some shooting uh footage and then we'll come back and talk about final thoughts
miss both of these two, one handed with the left hand, and then I missed, uh, I guess I kind of clipped them up there, one, one handed right hand. But I just wanted to get the, uh, this has got the Radian Ramjet recoil spring. So I wanted to test it out with the 18 pound spring Radian Ramjet and see if there was going to be any failures weak handing it, both hands, one handed, and it ran flawlessly. So. Okay, guys, so now that we're back with the final thoughts, um, I would say excellent pistol out of the gate. I love everything about it. Um, one thing I didn't talk about is, you know, there's just the slide serrations. They're very, very thick. Um, one thing that people don't talk about a lot, too, is if you like to do your front press checks, they actually dug these in right here up front. So you get some excellent grip here, and then it's like a full pocket. So you, it makes everything incredibly easy. These are very deep as well, but that front pinch is just a breeze. Um, another thing that I did that I noticed that, um, one, I hadn't talked about, two, a lot of people don't talk about is this comes with, I'd say probably right a 15 or 16 uh, pound recoil spring. I actually put a Radian uh, recoil spring in it because it just fits, so it's nice. I had it configured for my Gen 5, popped right in, fit perfectly, and I've actually had that in the gun uh, since I've broken it in. So that's like, you know, what, five 550 rounds, so that's pretty cool, um, and it's been completely reliable. I preferred that one just because I was able to put an 18-pound spring on it, and I know you can take the tool off and do that, but the Radiant's toolless, which I like, so that's what the reason why I put it in there. Um, and it feels just a little bit more high quality than the, the OEM recoil spring they put in there. But I was able to shoot some tighter groups with that. All in all, um, just a fantastic gun. I really don't have anything else to say about it. Uh, if you're looking into shadow systems, this has been a perfectly um, – it, it, I, I would say it definitely went over the top to surprise me. This has been my favorite gun out of the box that I've ever owned. I haven't had to send it out for stippling. I haven't had to send it out for RMR cut or whatever I wanted to do to mount an SRO or this or buy a plate or do this or do that. I mean, it's just been perfect. I mean, even the sights out of the box are definitely some of the nicest uh, sights, the slide cuts, uh, window, the barrel. I mean, it just looks like a completely modified gun, which it, it actually is. And it comes in, you know, under a thousand bucks. It's just hard to beat. You're really not finding that anymore in uh, the gun world. So, you know, stay tuned. We're going to keep going on this guy and see how it holds up over time. We put more rounds through it and, um, you know, with different grains and different stuff. But I mean, I'm telling you right now from my micro uh, survey that I've done on it, or I guess my, you know, yeah, just my my personal experience with it it's been fantastic it's feels completely like broken in good to go i would definitely trust this pistol where i need to use it and um yeah i mean i was just completely blown away by it i mean if you're looking into the xr 920p from shadow system this is the the first one that I've had, I have another one. Um, so I don't really have too much experience with them, but I know that their customer service from other YouTubers are excellent. I would say if you're looking at getting this gun, specifically this one, I would say go for it. You will not be um, disappointed. I know a lot of people are looking into like Glock 19, the Gen 4s have like the C version because people are starting to get more into the compensated and ported, um, you know, just wagon i guess to say you know because a lot of people are trying to fall on that um and they're having a lot of problems with 115 grain again i haven't had any issues with this one i mean there is that breaking period maybe if i had a shot 115 grain out of the the first couple shots maybe i'd have had a couple hiccups um but again this one's been perfectly flawless so now nearly a thousand rounds you know that three quarters three quarters of the way to a thousand rounds and it's been completely perfect. Next order is to zero the red dot and give you guys a range report on how it does, you know, with the red dot. But, you know, once we crack that 1,000 rounds, which I'm sure is not going to be a problem, um, I don't plan to clean it at all. We're going to see if we can just do 3,000 rounds out of the box without cleaning and uh, see how it goes. That'll give it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and like I said, again, no cleaning, no nothing. It is a perfectly... Um, I, I think it's going to make it without issue. So stay tuned. And uh, if you like the stuff that you're seeing today, be sure to like, subscribe. And if you want to become a supporter of the channel, um, there is a link in the description for the Patreon. So thanks for watching and see you next time.